Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this week's episode, we're going to explore the Italian household favorite, the mocha pot. But first, let me take you through a 360 degree tour. Allegedly designed by Italian engineer Alfonso Bailetti, the mocha pot is a small and compact design for a stovetop espresso maker. Made out of aluminum, like our airplane parts, <laughs> it should be good enough for the kitchen. I did purchase this version, this is the three cup version, um, at one of the big popular stores. And it did come with a protection plan for $3 in addition to the cost. I thought it was a little overpriced for the make and the size of what it could produce compared to a commercial espresso machine. But if you're just looking for something to have at home and have some comfortable espresso or make cappuccinos and lattes, this is definitely a great household item to add to your collection without really breaking a buck or investing a lot in an espresso machine that can do a little bit more based on the pressure, the bars that it can produce. So if you're looking for something small and compact, this is definitely a must-have kitchen gadget to add in your household. So let's unravel the packaging and take a look inside. Overall, it's pretty easy to assemble and deassemble, and it's easy to clean as well, which makes it pretty friendly for those of us that might be on the go. And I really like its durable design. So let's take a look a little bit deeper at the three vessels. This is a diagram that came with my merchandising. I really like this detail that was added to the packaging and translated into several languages to explain all of the structures. So let's put it to the test and try it out. You'll need two ingredients for the next step, water and espresso. Luckily, I just went to the store and purchased some the other day. I'll be using the Monocle Espresso by Downlier, and I'm pretty excited to try this since I just got it, and it's had really interesting reviews on the blend, so I'd be happy to share at the end how it tastes once we all try it together. I'm also using 142 milliliters of water as you see I'm filling it up and it's going to fill up right below that level so that when the pressure produces water and steam it doesn't go um, above that level and I'm going to set the espresso right inside the funnel. We'll need to set the stovetop at medium heat. 
and let's get ready for delicious espresso to spew out. Now that the espresso is ready, I'm going to serve in these two fabulous glass cups that I got from my local thrift store. And I'll pair this beverage with a slice of pumpkin spiced muffin. I'll pour one cup straight and the other I'll add a little milk, not frothed. I haven't invested in a frother yet, but that's definitely on my list. I'll make a video as soon as I get one so we can see the outcome and results of my cappuccinos. <laughs> so let's enjoy like Kevin did on a recent camping trip. And I hope you do too. I know I can't wait to use mine on our next camping adventure. So stay tuned for more and thanks for tuning in.